Hey, what's up guys? It's Oakley and this is gonna be some more arena. I've been playing a lot of this and I figured You know, I would bring you some of the more interesting games this one in particular You'll see if you look on the last look how many of the support commanders and artillery pieces we have I think this is the most artillery I've seen in one game now. It is kind of low-level stuff so you won't be seeing cavalry to come in and swoop up and clean up some of the archers and artillery pieces. So it'll play a little differently than you might expect. I myself here did, however, take three, um, no, I didn't take full three artillery units. I found actually that you don't really want to go three artillery units because then um, you have to ask people to babysit you and they're not always reliable. So usually I try and bring two artillery pieces and something that I can use myself to try and support it. So in this case, I just brought skirmishers. That allow me to do, you know, I'll put them a little bit ahead of my artillery. That way, if someone comes inbound and they try and kill me, I can get the scout on with my skirmishers, delay them, and maybe even, you know, draw the attention away from my own artillery pieces as they reposition, or maybe even shoot at my own guys. So, a variety of tactics that you can do. Anyways, it's going to be here on the map called Thermopylae, which you guys are probably familiar with. Um, a variety of places you may want to put your artillery. I position myself here. Like I said, we have a lot of artillery, but I position myself here so I could kind of go overwatch on this side of the base. However, I am the only one with sort of the heavy onagers here. And the rest of our artillery is pretty much just going to be these little uh, scorpion units moving around. So, uh, at first I thought, okay, we're going to have way too much artillery. Um... But at least we were going to have the firepower to back it up. But it seems like with Scorpion units, that's not going to be very good for us. Because Scorpion units don't really have the big killing power that these guys do have. But what they do have is they do have deployables, which will be nice. So we'll see if our allies decide to deploy that. I think, if I recall correctly, they don't really in this game. And as you can see here, in the uh, chat, one of the guys is saying he'll defend me back in base with some spears. That's always very nice. Uh, I could use some more support than just my small little slinger force. But uh, all is quiet right now at the time being. So what I'm going to start to do is just start firing point blank. Or not point blank, sorry. Firing uh, into the force. I don't quite know what is in front of us. And so what you can kind of do with artillery is start scouting with some shots. You can do manual shots, which is you hold alt and then you right click. And you can choose where and when you're going to fire. It's very, very useful for early scouting like this. Pinpointing where you want to send your shots if you have sort of the idea that someone is somewhere hiding. Now the downside of doing this is um, if you're playing in a battle with perhaps cavalry, the cavalry can actually see your shots coming in and they'll be able to basically estimate where your artillery is. You know, they'll, a good player will drop a ping for their team and then from then on out they'll go and hunt your artillery. So you could be actually giving away your position. In this case, however, it is lower tier so I don't really have to worry about that happening. I am a little bit further out of the action than I'd like so I'm starting to move out of the protection of our base. But I figured, you know, we have this other player defending me, I have our flank secured, and then I kind of have an idea of where our opponents are. So I'm not too worried moving forward here. And something that I've been learning slowly but surely with this game is uh, if this were a traditional Total War, I would be sending everything forward immediately. But no, in this game, actually, you want to keep a lot of your forces in reserve, not commit everything to the fight. Because if something goes wrong in this game, it can go wrong very, very quickly. And so you don't want to commit everything in an initial gamble. And sp especially here, if I'm artillery, no reason to get up close. Just start landing a couple shots from a distance, put on the pressure, and just play the control game. Now here, this is, uh, this is an artilleryman's uh, wet dream, is big clusters of archers like this. You can see they're starting to get out of my field of view. Uh, and this is where I'm going to have to call in additional support. But it looks like, boom, I hit them straight up. Get a lot of kills. They're going to start scattering. Um, now, if they were to leave my field of view, I can just do the manual firing. Uh, which is what I may have to do as these guys. You can see they're in and out of my line of sight. Um, but that's a lot of scorpion units on the opposing team set up here. So here I'm going to go for alt. And I've kind of estimated roughly where they're at. So I'm going to land some nice strikes. And here comes my artillery. They are going to land some sweet, sweet shots over on these guys. Boom. You can see their kill and a little bit of points. And I can see the shots coming out from the scorpion. So both units up front here landing some pretty good kills on each other. Um, it's scorpion versus scorpion action in the front. But at least my guys can turn the tide. I don't think I've seen our opponents uh, own onagers. But yeah, I'm landing a lot of kills on these guys. Killing the crew and sometimes knocking out the guns. So look at this. I'm trying to pinpoint where those shots are coming from. Our opponents are kind of giving themselves away. And then I can just lay on the pressure. So they may have shut down our initial assault. But uh, you know, given a little bit more time, I will take these guys out. So it looks like I'm a little bit out of range. So I'm going to have to move forward uh, soon. 
just to get these guys out, but we should be able to push them out of position. So here I am, going to be moving a little further. We're inching forward with our spears, also in support, and now we're going to target the archers. A lot of our scorpions over on the left are also massing up, so it's kind of a dead no man's land in the center. And it looks like I activated one of my the um, consumables, which is these fire shots. If those guys hadn't moved, that would have done a lot of area effect damage. But take a look at this. I'm kind of on to where they're at. Ah, there you go. And I figure they might come back into the fight. So I'm thinking of maybe landing some shots there. They think they're out of line of sight. But uh, nothing can escape my shot. So there comes one hit. Boom! It's actually going to hit one of those Spearman units as he was retreating. So, you know, I didn't hit the intended target, but I hit something. And at this point in the game, actually... Uh, ammo is unlimited, so you don't really suffer too much besides maybe giving away your position for firing these shots, so definitely very good. I'm helping to back up our approach in the center. Our scorpions are slowly moving up and clearing out. They're going to start having a duel with the enemy scorpions, but over on the top right, you can see some of those archers are moving out. We've taken the top right hill. If you look at the scoreboard on the top left and the top right, or sorry, the army count, looks like the opponents outnumber us, but we have the artillery advantage, which should help us force the opponents back in the hot gates. From what I can tell, it looks like it's kind of a hotly... <laughs> a little ironic there. It's uh, pretty contested over in the hotcakes, and we're not going to make much progress, so we're going to try and flank them over here. But man, look at these scorpion batteries all lined up. <clears throat> Perfect. They're going to be doing a lot of damage to our guys, but boom, there you go. Just barely missing some of the scorpions. If you can knock those out, then the um, engineers actually won't have the ability to pack up and leave, and they'll just be left on foot. There you go. Massive hits on these guys. So I am convincing this little battery to vacate, which is going to allow our guys to move up in no man's land. As I was saying, a couple more shots are still going out, so I know they haven't redeployed. Mm, but it looks like they have moved somewhat, so I'm going to have to move up and kind of recheck my targets. But now we're going to start to move into a phase that's almost like a siege of the enemy base. We've lost visibility on the right, so I'm a little wary of what's going on there. Um, but my thought is... You know, we've cleared the right side. Our opponents, if they'd seen us, would probably have chased us. And it looks like they're mostly in the retreat. They still outnumber us, so I'm not quite sure what to deal with. Uh, and that's why I'm kind of just being cautious. I'm looking around and making sure there's nothing hidden behind us. Visibility in this game is always a big component. And there you can see I'm going to turn my skirmishers to face my rear, just in case something sneaks behind us. And now we're going to creep up to the edge of the tree line here. Our opponents do hold the watchtower and that gives you visibility on those spearmen so even though it looks like they're hidden they're actually in line of sight. Um, and then you can see here I'm typing into chat you know we're gonna engage in siege warfare now I'm telling them to ping where you need an artillery strike hopefully my allies have been keeping track of where the enemy artillery is and that'll allow us to land some hits. One of the main places that you can just you know even have to have help as you can see, okay, the watchtower is up. Let's go ahead and send some shots in through there. Uh, Brainiacs without spotters. I'm trying to see what he's saying. Long range defensive play can't work. Oh, sorry, he's saying Brainiacs without spotters, long range defensive play can't work. Hmm, not quite sure who he's talking to. If he's talking to me and saying this artillery strike isn't going to work, or if he's talking to the other team trying to defend. But either way, I'm just going to go forward. Oh, he says they have artillery up on the hill, so that's a good move. But it looks like I still got some hits in here, so I'm going to start clearing this away, softening up these targets, and I'm well out of range of the rest of the artillery. Massive strikes right through there. So, yep, going to be forcing these guys back, and it's always a nice sight to see these kind of dead bodies appear out of the fog of war. It means you're doing uh, good work. So our, my allies are going to start pinging. You can see them. They lay down a little bit of ping. And, yep, they moved where those units were. So I've, I've at least got them shuffling around. And what that does mean is it probably means, yep, look, the flags are going down. They're pulling back. That is my cue to start the approach. So we're going to start pushing forward with our units. Look at all the archers on our side in the very back pushing towards that base. They're going to start moving up, securing those positions, and most importantly, capturing some of those watchtowers and giving us visibility. I see that this watchtower is, you know, I don't quite see where the units are, so I'm kind of debating, debating what do I want to hit. Now that we have visibility, I'm going to target the archers on these low tier uh, type battles. You typically want to engage the archers first because um, the enemy infantry, you can run away from that all day long. Even if you just have uh, your own infantry, that's fine. Just pull away forever and let your artillery take out the enemy skirmishers. After that, you can win a skirmisher versus infantry fight any day. So they're going to be chasing after our guys. And uh, they're kind of out of visibility range, so I was a little pissed. 
Um, I was hoping to get some early shots, but it looks like our opponents are moving in. To the, they knew my artillery was here, so like I said, I was giving away my positions. Thank God I had some allies in the vicinity, so they're going to pin these guys. Um, I have some of my archers putting on some shots. I'm getting a little friendly fire, so I'm going to move myself around to the edge. And it looks like there are actually some archers up on top of the hill getting some shots down on us, so they've gotten a pretty pretty good flank on my position. Um, hopefully we have enough to, to hold this back. This is a little scary from our artillery pieces. If they have any more reinforcements, we're a match three for three, so we can hold off their attack. If they had one more unit, he could slip around, take out both my artillery, and there goes the assault. You can see on the left, our units are squaring off against the opponents, um, but they're lined up, and you know, without winning this fight, we're going to be pretty much fucked. They have more artillery shooting into my guys, scorpion fire. I'm on the flank with my archers, so that should help us turn the tide here. Looks like we're going to start winning this as I start evening up the fight. That's going to free up more of our guys to win. And then my own artillery units are actually going to start ro slowly ro moving up. And I'm going to try and put pressure on the forces facing off our, the, the, uh, against the archers over by the enemy base. And here my supporting archer fire on the flank is actually being super effective, taking these guys out. And I launched a devastating volley. It looks like it's going to hit these guys straight up. Boom. Just obliterate like a quarter of that unit. Always super satisfying. Here comes another couple volleys. I have another one of my deployables or consumables on and... Oh! They barely got out of there in time. Something you can do if you get a little tricky is um, when you fire that type of projectile, you know that your shots are going to be more visible because they're flaming. You know your opponents are going to move. So what you could shoot, do is choose manual target and fire not where the opponent is, but where they might presumably move if they decide to move out of there. And here are some more uh, opponents flanking us, but this time we were likely, uh, you know, we're going to be able to block these guys, thankfully. Because we were able to clean up that first assault, if they had pincered us with both of these forces at the same time, they definitely would have obliterated our position. But now, because we took out one force, we can redeploy against this second one. We actually have some scorpions in the woods here. Uh, uh, VV Rerum, I'm not sure what his name is. But yeah, he's helping us uh, destroy these incoming spear units, which is going to help our depleted forces uh, destroy these guys as well. I'm going to put on one of my abilities, which is actually Heavy Stones, which is great for close quarter shots. It does a lot of damage up close, reduce range, but at this you know distance, uh, that's okay, I don't care. My, my opponents have not actually seen me. The woods are pretty dense, and so they don't have the visibility to, uh, to actually do damage or actually find my artillery pieces. So I'm going to start to actually try and target these guys. I think I might be out of range. I'm never entirely sure with the visibility of these guys. Um, but here comes my archers reforming. Our infantry are about to go down. We have scorpions putting in coming fire. But uh, yeah, we're basically losing this fight. Um, so I'm just hoping to get those artillery volleys to come in. I don't know what my crew is doing. I have an inkling that they're just um, out of range. And so I'm not quite able to destroy those guys, unfortunately. But they are going into shock, so they are routing in. Thankfully, Predator comes in for the rescue. In the distance back over there, you can see we're continuing to hold the top of the hill. But they have engaged spears against our infantry. So it's only a matter of time before I think they chew through our guys. They have a lot of artillery also supporting them. So I need to retrain my shots. And there you go, my artillery is firing. So I believe beforehand what was happening is I was just out of range. I'm going to go ahead and just target some of these artillery crewmen. Take those guys out, silence the gun, so to speak. And then here we are continuing to mop up these guys. They have a lot more scorpions in front of their base, starting to target their artillery, my artillery. Uh, if they get visibility on you, they can actually take out some of your artillery. Uh, you can see one of them whizzed past my um, uh, onager unit. Um, th those are deadly. They can actually function as anti-artillery pieces if they get uh, the nice lot shots lined up. Because you can destroy artillery pieces with archer fire. You can destroy it with artillery fire. You can destroy it. Um, by getting up close with an infantry or cavalry charge. So I have to be very careful with these guys. Um, and we withstood two assaults in the woods here. And now we're going to be moving forward for the prolonged siege. So yeah, I'm just telling my teammates that they did good work in holding us, uh, holding out right there. And yeah, I'm still guessing kind of where these artillery pieces were last time I saw them. So we're going to fire point blank into there and kind of see what we can get. Looks like I didn't hit anything, so I know that they're in the process of retreating. Oh, no, they're actually charging forward. So this is going to be a rude awakening to them. They're actually getting right up into the... Uh, they're trying to pick up their scorpion pieces again. And that is going to be the end of them. So I killed one unit right there. Perfect. And my shots are going to be pouring onto the units over here. So we're suppressing the shit out of these guys, taking out those crews. So finally, all their artillery is going down. 
and I'm going to retrain my shots finally over here. These guys have been keeping Overwatch on the forest. They can see all our troops moving forward, so I know I have to deny visibility here. I'm kind of trying to choose my targets. I'm not sure where I want to shoot. Oh, and there I see basically a couple shots coming out from right here. So that tell me, tells me that there must be something here. So we're going to go ahead and just land a couple of volleys and spread out my shots. You never want to you know, place all your bets on the same spot. So there go, there go my volleys. And miss, miss, kill. There you go. The one more to the left. I always feel like I'm playing Battleship when I do this. And now here comes the Heavy Assault. You can see they abandoned their watchtowers, which means we have visibility. That gives us the cover to approach with all our units here. The archers are moving up. Our opponents, yep, definitely pulling back. They have more guys reserved here waiting for us to move up to the plateau before we can kill them. So this will be kind of a, you know, going up into the teeth of a defensive network. And that could be very dangerous, but thank God I have supporting artillery fire. And boom, there you go, knocks that guy out. And then our own archers do a huge volley, takes them out. And at that point, I think we just, you know, it accumulates in a victory. So a fun battle. I've never had one of these big low-level siege um, battles like this with a lot of scorpions. But definitely having the long-range um, units like onagers, very, very useful. And you can see here, I got a pretty good amount of kills, 147 uh enemies killed but I, I destroyed a lot of key units here um, so I definitely got a lot of points out of this so anyways hope you guys did enjoy this I think I was yeah second to the top of the leaderboard so definitely helping win that game hope you guys enjoyed let me know what you like to see in terms of battles in the future and I'll see you in the next one peace out thanks so much guys stay tuned for more